Hey everybody, Goldie here with some gameplay of 5 Star Bronze Slick Rick. He is one of the contest superstars this week for both the Tour and the Gauntlet Blitz. I happen to finally have the contest superstar at a high enough level to complete everything, so I figured I would take the opportunity to do some gameplay for him. I've talked to a lot of people that said they're still trying to figure out the best way to run Slick Rick and how to utilize him properly. I figured I would do a video with the same move set and just replace a trainer and kind of break down how his cascades work. So I'm going to do the first gameplay is going to be like a beginner setup. And then the second gameplay will be a more advanced setup for him once you get comfortable figuring out where the cascades go. The move set for both gameplay videos will be double purple black one. Absolutely with Matt Hardy as a trainer, that is a must. I'm going to try to keep it to common trainers and coaches. Uh, so for the first setup, we'll use Xavier Woods for more starting purple MP. I have Masters of the Universe John Cena to reduce red jam damage. And I have Showboat Charlotte Flair on for the Berserker just in case something happens and Rick gets folded. Because Slick is one of my go-to characters, he has an epic belt with 40% armor and level 4 medals are maxed except for the gem defense, which is currently level 13. <gasps> this first gameplay with Woods and Matt training means you don't get any extra yellow gems, but that's why I consider it the beginner setup. It gives you less yellow gems to generate and that way it's easier to start seeing where the cascades go because you have less gems to work with so there's a little less clutter and it keeps it nice and simple. You do one across and one up and down. Use woods to get the submission move off as soon as possible. Try to get a black match and make sure to use the submission first to get your project gems on the board. I try to keep them to the interior as much as possible because when you're building your cascade, chances are you're going from one end of the board to the other. So you're in that seventh column and you don't want to put any protect gems there where they will be destroyed. When you're building your cascades, try to work with the yellow gems that are already on the board. Try to avoid breaking a protect gem. If you have to sacrifice one to make it work, that's usually not the end of the world. You want to align the row break you create with the yellow gems between two pairs of yellow gems for the column break and for the love of everything that is good. Please use the purple move that generates yellow gems first before using the black move that turns them into multiply gems. Otherwise, this build is worthless. Okay, normally I don't include outtakes because I like things to be precise and crisp and clean, but this one was kind of too good to leave out. Um, I went to set up and charge his moves and I accidentally pinned him with not even 80k. Um, that just goes to show the importance of a good belt setup. For the advanced method, keep everything the same, but substitute Xavier Woods for Dolph Ziggler. So instead of creating six yellow gems, you're creating 10, which in theory will give you one row and two columns to break of multiplied yellow gems. To help you further visualize where the cascades are going to go, I've taken a screenshot of the gem board and I'm going to walk you through my line of thinking when setting up these cascades. We're going to start with the yellow gem in the first column on the left, three rows down, and we're going to use that as our starting point to build the row break. Matching that row break will destroy the third row from the top. So when we place the yellow gems for the column break, we want to put a pair of yellow gems above that row and a pair of yellow gems below. Place the remaining yellow gems 
on the board where they are going to be broken by the row break or the column breaks that you've created. In this case, the red gem on the first column on the right, three rows down, and the red gem, third column from the right at the bottom. Again, be sure to use the purple move first, then the black move to turn the cascades that you have created into multiply gems, otherwise this is all for naught. The most common complaint with this move set is that it doesn't recycle, but trust me, when you lay the cascades properly and you have the right straps and metal set up, chances are, if you don't deal enough damage to completely deplete their health, they're not going to kick out. There are a few alternative trainer and coach setups that could help you depending on the opponent you face. For example, if your opponent has multiply gem reduction coaches or trainers, you might want to consider doing a gem defense build using Honky Tonk Man and some gem damage reduction coaches. Using that with a 40% armor belt, 30% gem reduction from Honky Tonk Man, 20% red gem defense from Masters of the Universe Cena, 20% from a maxed tier 4 gem defense medal. Even if you're only hitting those yellow gems for a multiply strength of times 2, the gem defense could be enough to hold your opponent down. If you have Andrade or Zombie Charlotte Flair to coach, they give you an increased chance to have purple gems on the board, so if you're not using Woods as a trainer, that would be a good alternative. If you have Zombie Undertaker, he increases the damage per multiply gem. I highly recommend taking a screenshot of your gem board if you're trying to figure out how to lay these cascades. If anybody has any questions, I am on Discord in DJ's server, I'm in Merrick's server, I'm in Garrison's server. Feel free to tag me, ask me any questions you have about setting this up. Let me know in the comments what kind of damage you've done using Slick Rick. It's kind of fun. Thank you very much for watching this gameplay video. I will have more on my Fandango series coming this week. Make sure to drop a like, share this with your friends, and be sure to subscribe so you're notified when my next video comes out. Thank you again. Take care.